Okay, now we're going to get started today on our Steel Made USA flat top grill. And uh, we're going to make some teriyaki hibachi style chicken with fried rice. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, let's make this rice. Well, I'll start making the rice. If you ever made stir fry rice before, got to make sure that the rice is cooked already and cold. If it's not cold, forget about it. So, take a little bit of this. Put the eggs on the side. Get a little bit with that. All right, so we're going to get started. These are the two utensils I use to stir fry because it breaks breaks everything up. Sure your grill is at about 450 to 500 degrees. Yeah, this might this rice we just made today, so it's still a little starchy even though it's cold. But let's see how it turns out. oil that I'm using is um, high smoke point. It is avocado oil. It gives it a nice buttery flavor and helps it, uh, it doesn't smoke at the temperatures you cook on these grill tops. Whoop, almost push it right off the grill. All right, we'll let that start warming up. ingredient into the rice. Let that melt up a little bit. And that is soy sauce butter garlic garlic butter. Alright. We're gonna be adding some seasonings to it or garlic. Just a, I know this looks like a lot because it's big, but it's a little bit of salt. That's about all. And some pepper.
cooking up. We're going to start with our chicken. Now, what we did with our chicken is we got it marinated a little. You put it in a Ziploc vacuum sealed Ziploc bag and in a bowl, and you can force the marinade into the food. So it works out real, really well. So we're just going to pop it open. Let the air in. And then, I'm going to let the chicken out. Uh, it's already, already brown. All this right now. All right. That was just ten minutes of marinating. Well, this could be done a little fast. Okay. So, well, let's put this over here a little bit. A little cooler spot on the grill. A little teriyaki. Fresh homemade teriyaki. Simple to make. You've got a little marin and soy sauce and white sugar. Believe it or not, that's all it is. And here we're looking at good. All right. Well, let's. Bring our rice over a little bit. Mixing this all together. Look at that nice fry brown. Getting in there. It's just peas, carrots. There is a little strip of ginger in there. And uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. And then obviously the teriyaki sauce. Which, but the secret ingredient, believe it or not, is butter. some butter to it. That there. Okay. Concentrate a little bit on our chicken. Not yet done. Get a little more. 
more teriyaki. Let that caramelize a little bit on there. That little caramelization from the teriyaki is so good. So good. Okay. Alright, and lastly, we're gonna make ourselves some vegetables. And for that, we're going to cheat a little. We're going to use a batch of already pre-assembled vegetables. Some stir fry vegetables. sesame oil. Just dribble a little bit on there, add a little bit of that scrumptious flavor. Right, I'm going to this bowl to the right. Quickly make this. veggies a little bit. Let me die fairly quick. Everything's almost done already in this lickety split time, thanks to this steel top. Let's cut us a big piece and see if everything's nice and clear. Alright, okay. excellent, excellent. Alright, so we're gonna lower this temperature up here. Lower this temperature back here. Don't overcook anything. I would turn it off, but I don't want the grill top to get too cool because if it gets too cool, then um, it's going to be harder. It gets hard to clean. Uh, we're missing, missing quite a bit of soy on here. Take our teriyaki, mix that baby in. Oh, this See how that all broke up? It's now nice. Single grains. So this is Japanese short grain. And uh, it's really good for stir fry. I got the brand from chicken from a Kibachi house. So the same rice they use. Very easy to go. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video so that you can get a glimpse of that. Oh, 
Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Looking good, looking good. All right. So, everything looks good in here, all done. Veggies. All done. All right, now I'm going to put these to be served. For the rice, I got this beautiful shovel. Put that all in here. I can take it over to my bowl and not spill it all over the place. Oh, it's a, big, it's a bigger bowl. Oh, and there I go, spilling it all over the place. All right. Ooh, should probably do a bowl for the chicken. Some, if it were my plate, it'd all be mixed together already anyway, but some people are picky eaters. <coughs> the wife. All right. So that's how quick you can make a quick Okay. Hibachi. Here's some recipes. Oh, look at that. She's listening in. Raspberry molten chocolate cupcakes. Wow, how'd you get that, Alexa? Classic Alexa, stop. Soup. Wow, she's nosy. <laughs> All right, well, thank God this fell on the parchment. We can put this back in the bowl. All right, so there we are. Now it's time to clean her up. Show you how quick this grill cleans up. All you need is a little warm water. The only part I don't like is that there's no lip on the edge over here. And there should be a lip over here too. I don't know why they didn't put one there, but it's a manufacturing problem, I don't know. But well, other than that, just gotta be careful. I'm just gonna collect this in a dirty bowl here. For food. It's easier. Easier to get big items out of there than scrape those down the hole. We have a rack just for this cleaning. As you can see, this baby's still hot. And this helps us clean it all off. All right, it's just warm water. Ouch. Alright, so 
this thing is all clean, ready for the next meal. And once this warms up, a smidge cools off a smidge. We're gonna treat it with flat top oil. Obviously, don't eat this. And just coat, just coat it when we're done. And that's it. All right. Well, I hope you liked that quick video on some hibachi for the day, and uh, hope it made you hungry. Uh, links will be down below so you can get your own gong grill top or any of the other stuff that I used in this video. All right, enjoy. Feast away.